Hi everyone, it's Jennifer from Fiberflux. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to crochet the festive wine bottle topper. This is a super easy and fast little project that makes a great accent to a bottle of wine. It's, it's great if you're taking something to a party or if you're giving a bottle of wine as a gift or even some sparkling cider or something like that. And it's just a little, sort of like a little hat that just fits right on top of the, the bottle. And um, you can just use some scrap yarn and I've added a few beads. And um, again, this is a really easy and festive little project. You can add a handmade touch to a bottle of wine. So let's get started. The finished measurements of the wine bottle topper are 1.5 inches across the top, and then it has a five inch circumference when placed on a bottle. So just to give you an idea, it just fits like a regular standard bottle of wine. For this project, you'll need a six millimeter J crochet hook, a pair of scissors, a tapestry needle, and some beads. I use, these are called pony beads. They are uh, just some plastic beads. You can find them at the craft store. I like using these for yarn projects because they have a large opening. They're very reasonably priced and um, I'm gonna be using the same kind of red and green holiday scheme as the um, yarn. So I use the finished wine bottle topper had 11 uh, beads on it. However, we're going to be stringing these on later for the final round of our wine bottle topper. And I like to string a few extra. So you'll need 11 plus a few extra just in case. It's easier to string them on initially than try and come back and do it later. So 11 plus a few extra beads. And our yarn, I'm going to be using a worsted weight yarn. This is Red Heart Super Saver. You can use any worsted weight yarn you like. Um, but I'm, I used uh, the Red Heart Super Saver in the cherry red, the white, and the spring green. So let's get started. Our wine bottle topper is striped and I used one color per round. So we're gonna start with the red for our first round. So what we're gonna do is put a slip knot on our hook. So to make a slip knot, wrap the yarn around your fingers to make a loop, bring the yarn behind the loop, reach in with your hook, bring up a loop, and tighten. Next, we're going to chain four. So to make a chain, wrap yarn around hook and bring it through the loop. That's one, two, three, four. Next, we're going to join to form a ring. So I'm just gonna get a little bit more yarn. So in the chain farthest from our hook, we're going to insert the hook into that chain, bring up a loop, then bring that loop through the loop already on your hook. We now have a ring that we'll be working our stitches into. And I wanted to mention this tail here, we're gonna hold along the edge as we work and that will weave it in as we go along. Okay, next we're gonna begin the first round. So chain three, one, two, and three. This counts as our first double crochet. So what we're gonna do is work 11 double crochets into the center of the ring. So to make a double crochet, wrap yarn around hook, insert it into the center of the ring, bring up a loop. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the first two loops. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the last two loops. That's the double crochet. So that was our first one and we need to make 11. So one, two, three, four, five, six, we get a little bit more yarn, holding that tail along the edge, seven, eight, nine, I want to mention as a side note, we're working lots of stitches into the center here, so if you need to push things over a bit, that's okay too. Okay, so 10 double crochets and 11. Now, if you remember at the beginning of this round, the chain three we did counted as a double crochet. So you should have 12 wheel spokes on your wheel here, okay? So count up three, one, two, three chains, and then we're gonna join to close the round. So insert the hook into that third chain up 
bring up a loop. Now bring that loop through the loop already on your hooks. So we just closed with a slip stitch, okay? So round one is complete. Now what I like to do before proceeding is to flip it over, take this tail, pull it nice and tight, and then take your scissors and just trim. And also, as a side note, if you prefer the magic ring for starting your round, that's perfectly fine. Feel free to go ahead and use that technique instead. So what we're going to do is switch colors. We just, um, again, we're doing one round per color. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the yarn and fasten off, and then we're going to switch colors. Now you can switch to any color you like, um, just keep the same stripe sequence. So if you did white next, just keep, you know, do red, white, green, red, white, green. And so just in, uh, so we have our double crochets and these are the posts. So we're going to be working into the spaces for this pattern. So let's get the white next. Find our uh, yarn end here. And we're just going to tie that right into one of these spaces. So in between the posts, not the little loop at the top, not the stitch, but the space. We're going to tie that white right in there. So bring the new yarn through. I'm going to slide this green just to have a color behind us so we can see what we're doing here because it's a white on white. So I thought that green would help you see it a little bit better. So we're just tying the white right on just like that, okay? Next, reinsert your hook back into that space where you just tied that yarn and chain three. One, two, three. Next, we're going to work a double crochet in each one of these spaces all the way around, okay? So in the space, not the stitch, work a double crochet some more yarn here. Next space, work a double crochet. Next space, work a double crochet. And I'm holding my tails along the edge the same way um, I did before. Okay, next space, work a double crochet. This will save you lots of time to weave these ends in as you go along. Especially if you're trying to work up um, a couple of gifts during the holiday season, it saves you a ton of time. Okay, next space, double crochet. I'm just gonna get some more yarn here. There we go. Next space double crochet. I'm just doing this all the way around. I'm going to drop my tails because I feel like they're sufficiently woven in. So next space, double crochet, next space, double crochet. This is actually worked from the top down. So this is going to be the, the top of the, the wine bottle and we're working downward. Okay. We're come, we've come to the end here, so this chain three at the beginning of our round, we're just going to join with a slip stitch to close the round, okay? Just like that. Okay, we can just fasten that right off, and then we're going to switch colors. Green is the next color in our stripe sequence. So we're just going to do the same thing. This round, round two, we worked in white, so we're going to repeat round two three more times, okay? So go ahead and fasten the green one. We're just gonna be repeating that three more times. So just tie that right on. Then grab those tails, weave those in as we go. So just reach in the same space. We tied it into any of the spaces, it doesn't matter which. Then we're gonna reach back in, bring up a loop, and chain three. One two, and three. In the first space, work a double crochet, and in each space all the way around. So we're just gonna do that all the way around. So when you're finished, you'll have round two will be worked 
for a total of four times because we work the with the white round and then this green round st started the second repeat and then it'll be a total of four times. Okay, I'm gonna drop these tails because I wove them in pretty well. We can trim those later. Okay, so I'm just working round two again in the green. And so you can see this project goes pretty quickly. And we're working in the spaces and that always is, makes for a quick project. Okay, so we've come up to the end of the round. Again, we just worked round two again. Okay, so it should look kind of like that, okay? So this was round one in red, then we worked round two in white, and then we're gonna work, we worked a repeated round two in green, and then we're gonna repeat round two two more times for a total of repeating round two. Okay, so we're gonna cut the green and fasten off and then I'm going to go ahead and repeat round two two more times. So we have a total of four times that we've repeated round two. And then we'll rejoin and I'll show you how to do the beaded uh, portion of the wine bottle topper. So um, what I like to do before we continue with the rounds is all these ends that we wove in, I like to go ahead and trim those as I go. It just keeps things nice and neat. So I just turned it inside out and then I'll just turn it right side out again. Okay, so I'm just gonna repeat round two, two more times in our, in our stripe sequence, and then we'll rejoin for the, the beaded portion of the wine bottle topper. Okay, so I'm just coming up to that last round. I'm just gonna join with a slip stitch to close the round. So again, I worked round two, one, two, three, four, a total of four times, okay? So this red was round one, round two, round two, round two, round two, okay? So then let's cut the yarn to fasten off because our next round is going to be the beaded round. So we're gonna fasten that off. Now, if you want to just have your wine bottle topper like this, that would be extra cute. Um, but, you know, we're gonna put a beaded round on it. So you can stop at this point if you like, or you could add like just a little single crochet edge on there. But we're gonna do the beads. So what we wanna do before we start crocheting we're gonna string the beads onto our yarn. So you'll wanna get a tapestry needle and just thread it. And then, um, like I mentioned before, I used 11 beads, but I'm gonna put a few extra. Now when you're stringing these on, you'll want to work it in, in a pattern. So we're gonna do red, white, green. Red, white, green. Red, white, green, red, white, green. So I did a few extra. So three, six, nine, twelve. I did one extra. So let's put let's put a few more just just in case, okay? All right, so I'm gonna string my beads onto the yarn and just kind of push it back for now. Then we can take our tapestry needle out. And then we're going to do the same thing. We're gonna insert the hook and tie the new yarn on. For my stripe sequence, it happens to be green, but whatever you um, are using is totally fine. So we're just gonna tie that right on. And then we're gonna do the same thing we did for the previous round. I'm just gonna tuck that tail right in there. Insert your hook, and then we're going to chain three, but when we work that third chain, so one, two, and when we work that third chain, we're gonna slide a bead over and incorporate it into that first, um, this first bead here. So we're just gonna make a chain incorporating the bead. Now I wanted to point out, did you see, notice how this bead kind of flips to the inside? That's a good thing because we're later gonna be flipping it down sort of like a little ski hat. 
So that will be on the outside when we flip it down. Okay, so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna repeat round two, but this, will, this round will be incorporating beads. So what we're gonna do is each double crochet we make in each of these spaces, we'll be incorporating a bead. So go ahead and work, begin your double crochet in the next space. And then when you bring it through the first two loops, when you go to bring it through the last two loops, go ahead and slide your bead over and incorporate that, okay? So we have our bead up against it, yarn around the hook, bring it through those last two loops to finish the stitch, okay? So you can see now we have two beads incorporated. So we're just gonna go ahead and do this all the way around. So wrap yarn around hook, insert it into the space, bring up a loop, wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the first two loops, then slide your bead over, just like that. Then wrap yarn around hook and bring it through the last two loops on your hook. Now again, these are pointing towards the inside and that's perfectly fine. We're gonna be flipping it over anyway. Okay, wrap yarn around hook, insert it into the next space, bring up a loop, Yarn around hook, bring through the first two loops, slide the next bead over, and we strung these in a, in a color pattern, so as we incorporate them, it'll be in the same pattern. Wrap yarn around hook, bring through the last two loops on your hook, and then the bead is incorporated. Okay, so we're just gonna do this all the way across, and as we need more yarn, we can keep sliding these towards the back. Okay, do the next one in the next space. We're working in the spaces again, not the stitches. Slide that next bead over, up against the stitch, yarn around hook, bring it through the last two loops to complete the stitch, and the bead is incorporated. Okay, we're just gonna keep doing this all the way around until we get to the end of our round. And these little plastic beads are super easy to work with. Now if you want something a little fancier, or sparkly, or uh, there's a lot of pretty glass beads out on the market. You can definitely experiment with different beads. I'm gonna tuck that tail in just to get it out of our way for right now, okay? So what we're gonna do is just kinda, there we go, get it out of the way. So let's move him down for a second. Okay, next space, yarn around hook, bring it through the first two loops, slide that bead over, Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the last two loops to incorporate the bead. Okay, next stitch. Our wine bottle topper is looking very, very festive as we work the round here and add the beads. Whoops, I added my bead a little bit too early. Let's try that again. Slide that back for a minute. There we go, okay. Now we can add the bead. Up against the stitch, and the last two loops. Next space, bring it through the first two loops, then slide your bead over. Then bring it through the last two loops. We're coming up to the end of the round. We just have a few more to go. Okay, next space, bring through the first two loops, slide that bead over, bring it through the last two loops. Okay, this is our last space. Bring it through the first two loops, slide the bead over, bring it through the last two loops on the hook, okay? Next, we're going to join the starting chain where we began, and I have a tail that's kind of coming through here. We'll take care of all these tails at the end. Okay, so we're just gonna join with a slip stitch in that chain, that starting chain that we made at the beginning of the round. And there's a bead there, so it's a little bit fiddly, but it should be okay. There we go, join with a slip stitch. Then we're gonna take our yarn and cut and fasten it off. 
Now, again, all these beads are facing inward, and that's fine. Okay, so what we're going to do now is take our tapestry needle and we're going to weave in that last end. And then you can also weave in any ends that remain. If you wove your ends in as you went along, you'll have very little ends to deal with. If you um, left them be, then you'll have a few to, to go through. So just carefully weave this in. There's beads in the way and such, so you just have to kind of go around them a little bit. Okay, just kind of do the best you can with those beads being there. Okay, so our wine bottle topper is complete. So all you do is to finish, let me just grab this little tail sticking out. There we go. Okay, to finish, you're just going to flip it down, sort of like a ski hat. And you'll have this really pretty little ring. Now oh, you might have to straighten some of them out a little bit. But you'll have this really pretty ring of beads all around your wine topper. And when you put it on, it looks like a, a festive little hat and it's very, very cute and it's so fast and easy to make. And this is a really great project if you are giving a bottle of wine or even like sparkling cider if you're taking it to a party um, as a gift. It just adds a little something to the top of it and it's a little handmade touch that you can put on there. So once you get all your little beads straightened out, you can just pop it right on top of a bottle of wine. So that's it. That's how you crochet the festive wine bottle topper. Thanks so much for watching and be sure and click the subscribe button to get all the latest Fiber Flux video updates. Thanks again. The finished measurements of the wine bottle topper are 1.5 inches across the top and then it has a 5 inch circumference when placed on a bottle. So just to give you an idea, it just fits like a regular standard bottle of wine.